All right, Shalom, 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 Shalom. <laughs> As Akawar would say, Shalom, Wam. I just heard him say that today, I think. But uh, peace and blessings to your brothers and sisters, man, a.k.a. the daughters of Sarah. And um, Shalom to you, beloved, in the new covenant. <sighs> you Israelites, man, and the small remnant of believing Gentiles in the faith. So I want to bring this out again. Um, just to free a lot of men's and women's, but a lot of men's mind, uh, Matthew 5, you know, 27 through 28, because this is Christ, Christ's own word, man. Um, a lot of people use the scripture out of context and they think that it literally means, you know, or if you look on a woman and she's beautiful, all you lusting, or they'll be like, oh, if you, if you I don't know. They'll say something that's out of context, <clears throat> but they don't know what adultery is or none of, none of these things, man. So I'm going to get Matthew 5 and 27. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shall not commit adultery, right? Let's go into the Greek word for adultery, man. Because according to the Torah, adultery was when you slept with a married woman, not according to the system, but according to the, according to the laws of Moses. And when a man was being a whoremonger, caused a woman to commit adultery, man. To be an adultery, it says what? To commit adultery, commit adultery with, have unlawful intercourse, sex, right? That beautiful sex with, with another's wife. But then it says of the wife to suffer adultery, be debauched, man. And it also goes into a, a Hebrew idiom. The word is used of those who, uh, who at a woman's solicitation are drawn away to idolatry to the eating of things sacrificed to idols man so adultery is not all oh, she beautiful she got a big booty or oh, she's she's plump are you in adultery no that's my manipulation and that's addict and taking taking away from the bible it's not what it says man in verse 28 but i say unto you that whosoever looketh so christians will stop right there unbelievers they will stop right there look see you look look on a woman not even understanding that they're projecting their own thoughts on you. That whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart, right? So, first of all, to look on a woman. The word woman, the Greek word meaning the strongs definition, meaning the context, it says a wife, and it says a wife, a wife twice, man. So a wife, according to the Bible, is a married woman, okay? When you lust after this woman, this says what? When you convey for it, man, to set the heart upon, rightfully or otherwise, man. Right? Basically, uh, being conveyed, but you're committing adultery with her, what? In your damn mind, man. Right? The heart, the thoughts or feelings. So it's talking about a married woman, man. For all you damn Israelites talking about, I'm going to smash his baby mama. That's not talking about. Oh, because she beautiful. You lusting after her. No, bro. I got to understand the context, man. If you committed adultery in your heart, what are you doing? You're having sex with that woman that's married. All right? It's not talking about because she's plump. Oh, she, oh you, you, you lusting. Come on, man. Rightly divide the word, beloveds. But I gotta get to work, man. Beloved, kind of sleepy from having that damn dream about G Herbo. Y'all beloveds be easy, man. Peace and blessings, and shalom.